Good morning. Sunday morning. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Z Education and welcome to another episode of You Laugh, You Lose. If you are new to this channel and new to this series, the game is simple. If you laugh at anything, you lose, you have to do a punishment. What is today's punishment? Today's punishment is very simple. If you laugh, you lose. You have to put a Biden sticker on your car. That's it. I don't care what kind of sticker it is, but that's what you have to do. And you have to keep it on there for a whole year. So don't laugh today. If you accept the terms of today's game, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. If you laugh, you lose, go. When you have the perfect meme for a situation, but you have to search through your 8,000 plus meme archive to find it. That is a true meme lord. And if that's how you're responding to things online, and if you, that's how many memes you have to search through to find the specific meme to elicit an emotion, I love you. I, that's how you do it. <laughs> you're a true meme lord. Keep on keeping on. Fifty Shades of Grey is romantic only because the guy is a billionaire. If he was living in a trailer, it would be a Criminal Minds episode. <laughs> Uh, it's called uh, Making a Murderer. You ever seen that one? That's what that show is. Hallmark researchers say they are close to developing a second movie plot. <laughs> Babylon B from last year, yep. They're all the same. And yes, I have unfortunately seen some of them. One of them was filmed in Minnesota, so we're like, we gotta watch it, we gotta watch it. It was awful. But it's the same story, you know? I still get asked why I don't like to go out, and it's like, look... If I can find another place that has my bed, my pets, my favorite snacks, my person, my couch, my TV, my books, and where I have complete control over the guest list, then I will totally meet you there. He makes a good point. Not many places like that. And, you know, I, I don't know if it's after you have kids or maybe you just get into your 30s. That is what it's like. It's like, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to go to that club. That sounds dumb. No, no, it's awful. How many of y'all burn a CD old? I'm record songs playing the radio onto a cassette tape in a boombox old. Never did that, but that seems terrible. You just got to wait for your favorite song to come on. And then, uh, oh, it's, 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 and then you hit record. Like, what if you miss the first few notes? You just have a, a burn tape that you're just missing the first few notes or what? Every woman's dream is that a man will take her in his arms, throw her into bed, and clean the whole house while she sleeps. <laughs> it's not where I thought that was going. You know what? That's, yeah, you know, shame on me, right? But, uh, or maybe not. Ladies, is this your, one of your fantasies? The beard I wanted as a kid, the beard I got as an adult. Stop sending me this. No Shave November is over. I get it. Oh, he's just he barely grows his mustache. Ha 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 ha. Stop it. It offends me. Have you ever really thought about how when you look at the moon, it's the same moon Shakespeare and Mary Antoinette, and Van Gogh, and Cleopatra looked at? They all looked at the moon. They're all dead. The moon is killing people. <laughs> Wake up, America! <laughs> hey! That's a conspiracy I can get behind. It's the gravitational pull. It's sucking souls right out of people. All right, let's spread this. This It's not even a conspiracy. The, the, the proof is right here. Let's spread this. Make people aware. Different mating calls of the animal kingdom. We've got a frog, peacock. I like your memes. <laughs> that is a mating call right there. It is, truly. So I got my wife. Don't blame me because you enjoy wasting your money. All right, th this is a very important PSA. Cats don't care. So they'll they'll do with whatever you give them. And if you give them a shoebox, they'll love it. You can buy them a, you know, $300 little ta cat tower that they climb on. Some of them will like it. A lot of them don't. So don't waste your money. Just give them the, give them the shoebox. They'll love it. It's free. Or whatever you bought it with. My whole life was a lie. That's not true. That is so, no. That is not how it works. Uh, no, 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 no. This is not a lot. Get out of here. This is not how you do it. This is fake information. This is false. Don't share this. No, 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 no. 
Jobs be asking me for three references, and I think I might start doing the same. Like, let me talk to three happy employees, please. What, do you want to talk to the happy ones? You should ask for too happy, too unhappy. You know, yeah, you want to know, you, you, should, you want to know what the work center is like. Y you should, you should be able to do that. Just not here at Zed Media. My dream date, Olive Garden, but the table next to us is having the family fall out of their lives where 35 plus years of disagreements and arguments are being brought up. <laughs> it's called Schroedenfraud. Your, your pleasure at the dismay of others. I don't know if that's a good thing, but at the same time, I understand. I, I do this too. It's, it's not your drama. You get to enjoy someone else's drama for a bit. Although I don't want people to be going through that. That's, you know, not fun. It is entertaining. I love when pets sigh like a human. It's like, oh, are you stressed? Did you work today? Just laid around, did nothing, and ate food? That's what I thought. And they do it every day, dude. They'll climb up onto the couch, lay at your feet, and just... <sighs> really? Uh, yeah, I'm not petting you, so it's the worst day of all time, huh? Did you have to pay bills today? No. You've heard of Elf on a Shelf now introducing... not going to say it because I know there's some of you that are immature out there, you know, and you'll clip it. No, I got some takeout from a Chinese place and it came in this box. Probably not the best idea. Fancy face. Why? Come on. Wow. What? Why? There's so many questions. Get, no, don't eat that. Just don't go there anymore. That's just that's bad business right there. Nobody. Motivational speaker. I started a restaurant with one rice. <laughs> yeah, a lot of those guys are, they're full of crap. They are, they are, you know, you had one job and you nailed it. This is phenomenal. Don't buy this. Just leave it up there. By the way, who's responsible for this? Is it the person who is responsible for refilling the drinks like the Coke or Pepsi guy? Or is it the grocery store? Who does this? Who deserves the credit? Was a little depressed today, so I decided to get me one of those emotional support animals. Ooh, look at that. Mmm, that looks delicious. You know, there's not much, like, more... You get a little, you get a healthy rotisserie, you get some veggies with it, maybe some potatoes. Pretty easy meal. It's already cooked, and it tastes so good. Emotional support. That's If you need it, there you go. You have it right there. It's waiting for you at the grocery store right now. Best pickup line ever. Dang, girl. Are you my appendix? Because I don't understand how you work, but this feeling in my stomach makes me want to take you out. <laughs> That's so bad. That is awful. Try it. Try it. Society. People who put trash in their pocket until they find a trash can. You know, you're being a good person, I get it. It's, you, you are the, the backbone of society. You're holding this up. Oh, yeah. The, every single propane tank should have this on it. That is f fantastic. I love it. You, start it. Take your propane tank now. Decorate it like Hank. When you go turn it in, now we have one more in the supply chain. Someone else is going to get it. They're going to be inspired. They're going to do the same thing until we have all Hank tanks. Let's do it. Talking about China, they are testing a new train model, which doesn't need tracks. That's just a bus. <laughs> Phenomenal fact check. <laughs> that is just a bus. People get gray hair because they are dying. <sighs> That's depressing. I mean, technically, aren't we all dying? Like, literally every day? As you once one, There's a depressing thought, too. Share the memes. Skip this one. This is not okay. This is depressing. Asked my boyfriend how work was today. There's something magical about a place you can't leave for eight hours a day, five days a week, for fear of being homeless. <laughs> it's magical, man. It is, truly. Let's say thanks to the real Santa. <laughs> I'm glad you excluded the USPS, the US Postal Service, because they don't count. And I, I, Some of you watching this right now, you work for the USPS. Might, maybe you're good at your jobs, but I'm sorry you get lumped in with all the bad ones because there are a lot of bad ones that work at the USPS that have experience. Drives me nuts. I hate that place. 
And I, I mean the word hate. I hate the USPS. This Japanese restaurant has a vegan version of their noodles. And instead of taking a new photo, they just censored out the egg. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder, folks. My parents in the 1980s. Let's move closer to a city so we can raise a family. It will be easier to find work. Me in 2023. We need to get as far away from civilization as possible and start homesteading. <laughs> Does anyone else like, is that like the fantasy now? Did Yellowstone do it? Is it the craziness in the cities that's doing it? Maybe both? But it's like, damn, I want to live out in the countryside. Start talking like this, you know, take care of the animals, come back home, play with the kids. That's the dream. That's it. That's how simple it is. That That is the true dream. Staff, we need more help. Manager, don't worry. We just hired two people. The two people they hired. <laughs> Yeah, if you got Trevor and Corey walking in, you didn't hire two people. You hired half a person. And you might actually it might actually hinder you as you're training them. It, yeah. Trevor Corey smokes. Let's go, boys. Do you remember when this was your only problem? You had some more problems there, you know. Playing uh what is it, Turtles in Time, Ninja Turtles, you couldn't get past the third or fourth boss. That was a problem. You know? The duck hunter gun wouldn't work on the regular Nintendo. That was a problem. Imagine being a Chinese Swifty and wearing this. TS 1989. <laughs> get it? Tiananmen Square where the government murdered a bunch of people? 1989. You get it? Ha ha ha. It's horrible, but it's hilarious. Chinese Swifties out there. Careful wearing this. Communist China. They might throw you in prison. Bro is not messing around today. I am not kidding you. Dude, that is... A picture of Dave in the future. Dave eats Tums like they're candy. And that's not a joke. You should head to his channel right now and ask him about it. They're, flood his comments with what? what's the Tums story. Tell me about how many Tums do you have a day? Ask him that. How many Tums do you eat a day? Let's see if we can get him to address this in a video. It's true. It's it's actually alarming. Like, dude, that's not. I can't be good for you. Dolly Parton at 77 and me almost half her age. <laughs> Yeah, she is in better shape than most. That's that's just a fact here in today's world. Please be careful of holiday scams out there. I ordered my wife expensive jewelry for Christmas, and instead they sent me a brand new set of irons and two boxes of Pro V ones. Ah, <laughs> oh, you hate to see it, man. I'm glad you shared this. I'm glad you shared this with us. Uh, make everyone aware. Be careful of those scams out there. Who's not police but feels like police to you? Chipotle workers who tell the cashier you got double chicken and steak. <laughs> hey, shut your mouth, you snitch. Snitches get stitches, didn't you know that? Huh? Freaking making me pay extra three bucks. Night people when morning people are asleep. Morning people when night people are asleep. Dude, this... Speaking of Dave, this is Dave too. Dave wakes up at 5.30. His volume is 10 or 0. That's, that's where his volume level of his voice is. And it's in the morning, it's at 10. <laughs> Point of view, visiting your grandma. Oh, yeah. You know, which one you taking? Nine times out of 10, I'm going with the strawberry. I don't know what it is about those candies. They're delicious. And those are, is it butterscotch, right? Not bad, but you got to be in the right mood for butterscotch. You kind of got to be in like a, you know, sit by the fire, holding the hot chocolate type mood which is probably usually never. So not homeless wife in Costco, two plus hours, please help. People are going to have to start helping you out with your finances too. After you see that bill, two hours in Costco. Can you imagine that's a 500, 600 plus dollar bill right there? Yeah. Sorry, man. Font matters. I will always find you. I will always find you. <laughs> That one on the right actually scares me. Oh, if you see that, dude, <sighs> run. Has anyone lived long enough to buy a second bottle of Worcester Cherie sauce? <laughs> I love this meme. I love Worcester Cherie memes. And I love all of you getting triggered right now by how I'm saying that. Worcester Cherie. That's, we're, we're changing how we say it. That's how you say it now. Worcester Cherie. That's a good question, though. It lasts forever. Lots of salt in there. Uh, you know, 
I, you barely use it. You just do a little dab in there. Airline attendant. We are now boarding for group one only. I repeat, group one only. Someone from group six. Does anyone actually listen to that? Whenever they start boarding, usually, like, the priority, they'll let people in priority, you know, uh, people with disabilities, pregnant women, people that need a little bit of extra time, and then it's a free-for-all. Even if they're boarding in four groups, it's a free-for-all. So it, it just ignore that when you get on your next plane. Breaking news. Gail Lewis and Pete Davidson spotted together grabbing coffee in Lower East Side. <laughs> Dude, this lady is a national treasure. And now she got the Pete Davidson bug. Congrats to her. She's famous. Parents after their first kid is born. Can't help it, man. We've been over this many times. It's it's just a thing. It, it like triggers India. Just got to take pictures of your kids. Zillow should have comments. They should lean into the fact that they are primarily a content platform. I'm not there to buy a house. I'm there to audibly laugh at the 1,200 square foot gray box that someone thinks they can sell for $415,000. This is how we drive prices down. Not a bad idea. I would love to have a comment section. That would be great. I do look at Zillow all the time, not even planning to buy a house. It's just, you know, what's, go what's going on with the market these days? Someone at a festival offered me a little bag of Coke. That is dumb. Stop joking about that. If you're ever feeling stressed, just remember there's a 50 lane highway in China that merges into four. Stop. I'm going to go ahead and say that that doesn't look quite like 50. And it looks like it's merging to four. That looks like hell. I will say that. How are they not fix this? That looks awful. Oh, man. I'm actually like stressed out looking at this. Could be worse, guys. No matter how cold it is, someone is still sleeping with the fan on. Is that you? Dude, some people out there, they'll... It'll be freaking... 10 degrees out, they'll have the window open with the fan on. I don't know how they do it, why they do it, how they don't get sick all the time. Guys on Christmas waiting on their new batch of underwear. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, this is me, I swear. I think my wife secretly throws away this stuff because I'll, I'll wear it forever. Winter house fire starter pack. Dude, we have a lot of Deve memes today. This is Deve. Dude, this Deve would... In the middle of summer, and this is not a joke... Dave would have this on. It'd be like 95 degrees in his room and he'd be under a quilt. Hey, dude, all the time. It's like, is something wrong with you, man? <laughs> and he'd leave it on. Like the bill had to be $300 a month and I don't even know what the bill was, but I'm just guessing. Those aren't cheap to run. When you live in a multi-dog home and someone knocks on your door. Yeah, that's my face about twice a day. Every time there's a delivery. Yeah. Hey, you know, it's kind of a good thing, right? If someone's trying to get in, they'll bark. But, dude, all the time. Christmas list. Light bill, water bill, rent, insurance, car payment, phone bill. Add groceries to that. Yeah. Again, we've been over this. Just give cash. Cash is the best gift you can give. Every day is Black Friday when you're financially irresponsible. That is such a terrible, terrible thing to uh, promote. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be irresponsible. Got enraged today. <laughs> uh, I hope you don't have Facebook anymore. I hope you deleted it. But if you do still have it, they should make this a thing and they you should post this whenever you get enraged. So In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins came on a few minutes ago at work. I was the only person who did the air drum solo. I don't want to work here anymore. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. I feel like that's, isn't that kind of a mandatory thing when you listen to that song? I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Do, 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 So look at that. It gets you going. It gets the blood flowing. It gets you excited. Ever feel like you forgot to do something important? Oh, that is, oh that sucks. I hope there's not leather in there. Ow. Oh. Ooh, the, <laughs> the best part of Elf is when that guy who works in the mailroom says he's 26. Bro. Yeah, they got to figure that out in Hollywood. They have a real, real bad problem with this. Maybe that's how he identifies, guys. Ellen DeGeneres' brother defends talk show host for supporting Kevin Hart. I've never seen a family with a stronger PE teacher gene. <laughs> 
That is that's so that's the perfect description of both of them. PE teacher. Seriously. Ellen looks like my fifth grade PE teacher. Love her to death. Great woman. But that is who she I swear. Some of y'all should carry a plant around to replace the oxygen you waste. Yeah, not none of you watching this. I know that. You guys are all great. But some of the people around you, some of the people you work with, maybe even some of your cousins, family, you know, people are just stupid. About to call off work. Damn tree fell in my car. <sighs> Careful out there, folks. You might have trees falling in your car. That is a valid excuse. You, you should not go into work. That's traumatic. Video game, final boss. You took everything from me. Me, who skipped all the cutscenes. I don't even know who you are. No, that's me playing video games. A lot of people, they, they play for the storyline. And honest, I swear, I didn't even know like there were storylines. Like back when I played like Halo 1, uh, the early Call of Duties. I just played to beat the level. That's it. You play to beat the levels and then all of a sudden you get to a, a level that you beat and there's an end game screen. That's what I thought the thing was. I didn't even know you had to pay attention to the story. So uh, yeah, that's me. I know all, all like diehard gamers out there are just freaking out right now because you play for the, the storyline. You weren't in your stand. We wanted to make sure you're okay. Dude, look at that. I wonder if that's a real photo. This is how it works though. You go out there, you sit out there for two weeks, you don't see Jack. Then all of a sudden, the bucks, they start showing back up on your trail cams. Seen it a thousand times. Every time I try to eat healthy, along comes Thanksgiving, Christmas, summer, Friday, or Tuesday, and it ruins it for me. <laughs> Friday and Tuesday, they're the tough ones, you know. Kids today. Find out school is canceled via text. Me. Had to wake up at 5 a.m. and watch the bottom of the TV screen like the NFL draft. And then you watch it. You sit there and you watch it until 6, 6.30, 7 comes around. You got to start leaving. And your hopes just get shattered every time. It gets alphabetical order. Gets to your town. Your town's not on there. Goes by again. Gets to your town. Not on there. Gets to your town. Late start for kindergarten only. What the? It's killer, man. But they'll never experience that. They will never know what that's like. Sits down on the couch. Wife. Hey, babe. Could you come here? Mm. Hey, could you fill me up some water? I was just in the kitchen. Why didn't you ask me then? <sighs> Happens all the time. Wives, come on. Husbands be like, where's that thing I left out for 45 days that you finally put away exactly where it goes? Why are you always moving my stuff? And the problem is, why are you moving our stuff? Mariah Carey, Christmas. <laughs> Dude, Christmas is truly holding that woman together. She's set for life. I mean, I hope she has a trust set up. I mean, for her kids and freaking grandkids, great grandkids. Like she is set for generations because of that one freaking song every year. She's got to make like millions of dollars a year off that one song every year. Back in my day, Joe Rogan had hair and made people eat bugs for money. Okay, Grandma, let's get you to bed. And we're getting there where a lot of people, they don't know the the uh, fear factor, Joe Rogan. It's snowman! <sighs> As, I, know, I know there are actually people doing this, so this is not funny. Maybe not their intended message, but I like their style. Light up Christmas, 1344. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, you got that stupid uh, eco-friendly spout on there. It ain't going to be lighting up Christmas. You're going to have to take the spout off and do it. Someone asks what you want for Christmas. Watch these kids, please. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that deep down in my, my chest. I only have one kid so far. We'll have two by next Christmas, but it is so such a relief when grandma and grandpa will watch the kids. <laughs> That's the best gift you can give. How'd you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? If you did, go put the Joe Biden sticker on your bumper. That's what you gotta do. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. What must be what? Idiots. Thanks for watching today's show. If you have not yet, head over to Amazon or Barnes & Noble or Target or Walmart and check out my new book, Trailer Park Parable, and pre-order your copy today.